the distinguished delegate of Russia to make a statement. Madam President, distinguished delegates, we are grateful for the very timely initiative of convening this open debate on the theme of international terrorism. For over a decade, Russia has struggled with persistent do domestic insurgency and terrorism. The country has experienced a multitude of terrorist and military attacks. And the turn of the century was marked by a series of high-profile terrorist incidents involving a large number of civilian casualties. The growth of radicalism of late has to a very large extent been fed and fueled by unprecedented terrorist propaganda aimed primarily at youth and the socially unprivileged strata of the population. It constantly takes on new shapes, adapts to the potential offered by the modern technologies, such as the internet. The Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, the al Nura Front and the other terror cells have long been growing in the Middle East. They have acquired additional opportunities for their criminal activity due to the weakening, including the foreign assistance of state institution and support of various foreign sponsors. Having grown stronger, extremist groups are threatening the future of the world. Russia has constantly advocated closer international cooperation to cut short all kinds of terrorism and renounce dual standards and division of terrorists into good and bad. All states must faithfully implement the decision of the UN Security Council that provide for preventing the instigation of terrorism and blocking illegal oil trade, approved sanctions against the Taliban and the Al-Qaeda, and to impose an arms embargo on Libya. Russia has supported Revolution 2170, which aims to strengthen the sanctions regime against the terrorists in Syria and Iraq. The intervention of Iraq, bombing of Libya, and the foreign support for extremists in Syria have aggravated the issue of foreign militants fighting in the terrorist organizations in many countries of the Middle East, Africa, and the Afghan-Pakistan border regions. We need a comprehensive approach that will include the financial, institutional, social, and ideological elements of this problem and will ensure res respect for the sovereignty of all states. Russia supported the initiative of the US presidency of the UN Security Council for adopting a resolution to pull the plug on the operations of foreign terrorist militants. Dear delegates, at the same time, we would like to warn against the temptations to restrict the issue because the Islamic State, with its inhuman ideology and disgusting execution of journalists, is far from the only threat in the region. We need to launch a comprehensive analysis of the issue of terrorism in Middle East and North Africa in its dimensions. We propose the convening a representative UN forum for all the countries in the region, the African Union, the Arab League, the permanent UN Security Council members, and other concerned parties. The agenda of this forum should also include all the conflicts, the larger interest of which is the Arab-Israel conflict. It is widely believed that the failure to settle the Palestine issue over the past decade is one of the main reasons why terrorists continue to receive moral support and recruit new members. Russia is urging you to look at the deep root of the regional problems rather than deal only with its symptoms. We are willing to cooperate, but on a very equal basis starting out with an honest cooperative analysis to identify the reason behind the problems and to find a way out of this chaos. Thank you.